My friends, I want to talk just today briefly from the heart about the gospel and the real power that is in the gospel of Jesus Christ that I think is so is lost so much in this day and age. But the, the gospel of Jesus Christ is life-changing. It's, it's beyond anything, any philosophy or empty words that you, you know, read in this day and age that claim to set you free but really do so little. The gospel is the one true powerful thing. The gospel is the one true power in this world. Even though it's disregarded by um, this world's philosophies. We're all broken in this life in various different ways. We've all been through things, pains, hurts, rejection. We've all done wrong. We've all made terrible choices and knowingly rebelled and done done bad things to other people and and this guilt this pain that comes from this rebellious stuff this stuff that we've done wrong and, and we feel shame for we carry this heavy weight in our life in all of our lives that is such a, a heavy burden because we know that we shouldn't have done something and we feel guilty we feel shame for it because we've sinned we've done wrong we've hurt someone we've been perverse and uh, deceitful and we, we've been sexually deviant we've torn down other people behind their back we've been two-faced we've experienced trauma abuse these things are deep these things are very very deep in many people and most people will not talk about them because they're so deep and I know I can relate to that there's things inside me which are deep 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 way down if we're honest and we shine a light deep in our hearts we have some baggage we have some baggage which we probably would never tell other people, never want to tell other people. And these things are incredibly painful. And sometimes, you know, sometimes when we talk about even like, I don't know if you've researched narcissistic personality disorders and, and some of these different disorders, they seem to have at the very root of it, just this real bitterness and this real baggage and burden which is right at the core, so deep in this, in our personalities, that it, it's just, it causes some really evil, horrible things in our lives. And, and you know, is there a solution? Is there an answer to these things that, that just seem so untouchable? And this is where the power of the gospel comes in. There is no philosophy and new age mantra and ritual that can touch anything at this level. The only solution to these things is truth. Is the, the way out of this prison. The only solution to this poison of death is life real life and Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life Jesus Christ the gospel of Jesus Christ is the only way to deal with these things and to overcome and to be made new into a brand new creature this is the power of the gospel it is not just a philosophy the gospel is life changing right to the very deepest core of our being we are transformed and why how is this possible because with the gospel we can never be good enough this is this is the solution right here we can never be good enough 
There's nothing that we can do. The point of the gospel of Jesus Christ is that we're not good enough. That is, that is the point. So, beginning by this, accepting this reality. Then we come before God, knowing that we're not good enough. And the reason that Jesus Christ came to this earth and God sent his son, was that Jesus would live the perfect life and then he would be punished as a sinner even though he was perfect for our sins and then he would die and he would rise again on the third day for us. So starting with this, we, could, we approach God before the throne of grace and we lay down everything, our heavy burden. We lay down the things that we've done wrong, the very deep, deep things inside of our hearts that we keep hidden from everyone else, we finally open up our hearts before the Lord, before God, your creator, my creator, and we open up our hearts finally to things that we never thought we could ever be rid of and, and ever lay down this heavy weight. We lay down at his throne. And we can be open, we, we need not have shame and fear because those very things we lay down at this throne too, we, we lay down our shame and we lay down all of those wrong things, those wrong sins, we finally confess to God and release them to Him, knowing that this is what He says we can do. This is what He invites us to do because we know that he sent his son and you know his only son the most precious son of god came to this earth and god cast all of the judgment that was meant for me and you that we should have had for these wrong things onto jesus because he loves us and jesus took that away and this is the the real central core of how powerful the gospel is is that it, it reaches right to our, the very core of our being. They talk about personality disorders and narcissism and all of these things that seem to come from like a, a, this really deep bitter root inside of people. This real poison that's just so deep in us from this disease that's part of our sin. And we all have aspects of, of this disease in us we all have we're born with this and it affects us but the gospel transforms us and so there's people out there that, that are constantly preaching you know you've got to pretty much you've got to live up to this this is the standard that you've got to be and it, it really puts burdens and, and shackles on onto people into bondage the gospel, the heart of the gospel, is that we can come before the Lord, lay our lives down before him, just as we are. We can confess honestly to him and let him reach, receive him, let him reach deep into our lives to forgive us for our sins. This is how our lives are so drastically affected knowing that we are completely undeserving but knowing that his grace covers everything and there is nothing there is no one who is too bad there is nothing that you have done which makes you beyond his love and his grace his grace covers all sins every sin you can be forgiven you know if i can be forgiven there are so many awful things that I've done in my life. So many awful ways that I've messed up. There is just no way, no way that I'm anywhere near good enough. I am just done rotten, rotten things in my life. But God at the throne of grace will receive us and his burden is light. His burden is light, you can be honest with him, you can be completely honest with him. He knows everything anyway. 
and all he wants us, you know, what he wants us to do is to be honest with him and to confess and be open, not to hide away, not to run away, and not to lie, you know, and pretend, have put on a performance. It's nothing to do with that. Just to be honest and lay our lives down at the throne of grace.